everyone. Today we are at the uh, Bedok Jetty and we're going to do what we call Ajing. The targeted species will be like uh, Sela and maybe some small pelagics like queenfish uh, or baby sagai. And uh, with me is uh, Ben, also known as uh, BBFA. Yeah. Uh, ben is actually what I would consider a local hero because he almost fish here every day. So Ben, what we exp um, you've been fishing here for quite some time? Yep. Like how long have you been fishing? Uh, I've been fishing here around uh, six years, specifically this location. Awesome. Okay, so I look forward to have an awesome time with you. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Alright, game on! Yeah! There we go, one cell out, the first one of the day I've dropped two so far. Um, one cell up and then this is a beautiful um, specimen for the yellowtail scat. I dropped one shrimp scat earlier on. There we go. There we go for the release. Beautiful little yellowtail scat. There we go, let's see if we can get more. Here we go. That's another one in a matter of three drops. I got another one. I believe I found the school um, right between the pillar there. Here we go. Okay, um, so since we weren't catching much um, fish or getting many takes on the heavy jig heads such as 2.5 grams all the way up to 4 grams, um, as you saw me catch just now, um, two cellar, and I'm using a technique that we call plankton drifting. Um, what is plankton drifting? It's basically where I use an extremely light jig head. Currently, um, due to the current being extremely fast, I do have a 0.8 jig head. Um, personally, I like to use barbless jig heads um, due to uh, when you plankton drift, you do play next to the pillars where the fish are really, really hiding. And often you do find yourself snagged onto the pillars. And with a barbless jig head, um, when I get snagged, I just do a guitar and it comes off straight away. Um, that way I save jig heads all the time, but I do often lose fish. So prior to those two cellar I caught, uh, as I was bringing the fish up, before those two cellar I did hook up to one um, cellar papan and then one of the, the shrimp scad and the yellow tail scad, one of each. And as I was bringing it up, they both dropped due to um, the barb. And I also believe I um, didn't have a nice hook set. Alright guys, we have fished with the jetty previously and now Ben is going to show me how to fish the Labrador jetty. So Ben, what are we expecting today? Today we're going to be targeting the one and only Salah. So recently we've heard word that they've been 
boiling, jumping all over at certain times of the day. So hopefully we can cast right into those boils and catch a few. Let's see. Right, I'm excited. Let's go. Let's do it. Now I lost a really bigger salah and this is what we're coming for. Um, today we're fishing at Labrador Park. Um, this is one of the popular spots um, on the um, southern islands and uh, we are looking for this particular fish locally known as salah but uh, we also nickname it as a uh, tiger because of the stripes that is on the um, body. Uh, this is um, what we call the average size. I lost a bigger one just now because it went underneath the pier and um, I wasn't quite prepared because my drag was a little bit loose but this time I got this fella. So I'm going to try for more. Second one! Okay, this one really, he really wants offering because uh, when I was uh, letting the, the uh, my jig head with the uh, worm dropping, the fella took it, small little fella, but it's so, so greedy as you can see. Yet again, swiping at my lures, I think I had it hooked on the top again. <laughs> there he goes. A small little guy this time. Let's try to get him back in the water. <laughs> Come here, buddy. These guys have some really, really sharp teeth there. Go, don't want to get your fingers near those. There you go, and he swam off safely. Let's try to get another one. Come on, Ben! What 
do you have over there? Looks like a needlefish. Really pulling this lot of drag, this guy. Yeah, it looks like he got hooked right in the belly, right after I cast. Okay, this needlefish just here was swiping at my lure and it went over and I felt like it took it um, in its mouth then I did a little bit of a strike and got it right above the top loin right there so I'm gonna unravel this guy here and get him released as soon as possible. There we go, safely released, let's get another one. Okay, so it's been a very, very long day. Not really for me, I was at school the whole time, but Fred was here all day, hard working. He was able to catch two really nice cellar in the morning, and I believe you did lose a few. Um, unfortunately, the cellar didn't really come here in the afternoon and boil at all. We didn't even see the bait, but luckily I was able to catch uh, two torak, which did pull up quite a nice fight. I was able to have some fun with my rubbers. Yes, 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 and I Got to say, you are now the Toda Master! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you guys for watching so much. Um, hope to see you guys in another video and see you next time.